there were some strange and dangerous assignments during World War II. In 1943, 10 of us were sent to an isolated weather station in the Arctic. We relieved the crew who had survived there in isolation for a year. The 10 of us who had never known each other were from different parts of the country, different social educational background. Generally, though, we lived and worked without incident in this cold, lonely station. Our job was to report weather conditions every four hours. The information was important to planes flying the Atlantic. Sometimes the strain of being so close together caused tenseness. In some other locations, the strain of such close quarters caused shootings, fightings, etc. But that didn't happen with us. When things got to that point, one or two of us would take off for a week with our sled and dogs and go hunting with our Eskimo friends, even in 55 below zero. One time, two of us felt tension, and we left for a while to go hunting for seal. Our sled was loaded with supplies, and on top of dead seal to feed the dog, we could not sit on it and had to run alongside. Going up a steep mountain pass, our sled, with dogs attached, suddenly slid into a crevasse. The lead dog and one other remained on top, and Charlie and I worked feverishly, finally getting the other dog's sled and supplies back on the path. We were dressed in sealskin clothing. Still, we were drenched in perspiration, even though the temperature was 40 below. I was so tired, I had to lay down in the snow and rest. Charlie, with his knowledge of Arctic conditions, took the dog whip and lashed me and lashed me until I was forced to get up. He knew I would have frozen to death otherwise. I finally struggled up. We continued on, found our guide, the Eskimo village, and went to sleep in an ice igloo. We took our seal skin clothing put them in the sleeping bag with us, and went to sleep. So thanks to Charlie, his whip, an outstanding team of Eskimos and dogs, I am here today.